Okay, so I got the system plugged into my 97 Nissan 200 or 97 Nissan Sentra GXE. And I know the video kind of sucks. I got to hold this, or I got this thing jammed into my center console, and I got the unit jammed underneath my e brake, and I got the camera on a tripod jammed in there so the focus seat the best. Should get the general idea across. Anyway, the vehicle stopped right now. I'm going to fire it up, and I'm going to take it for a test drive, and you can watch all the numbers on the right, the odometer, the miles per gallon, and everything else kick up and start working and running, and it's all good. Okay, so there the vehicle started. It paused there for a sec because while the key is being turned, the computer shut off. So, well, not totally shut off, but the outputs are shut off. And there it's running again. Yep. You see on the right there, 0.7315 gallons per hour. 1200 RPM. As soon as I start moving, hopefully the camera won't uh, move around a bit, but we'll see what happens. Go for a run around the block here. Oh yeah, sure. The sun's going to hit the damn thing and screw it all up. See if I can keep some of the light out of it. See in the upper right corner, the miles per gallon are changing. I've also got that tachometer plugged in, and I'll show that here in a little bit, probably on my way back. And I'm going to get her up to speed here and just show how the numbers change when you're tooling down the road. I'm accelerating up through about 20 mile an hour, give or take. I'm on a gravel road, so there's probably a bunch of background noise going on here. So my gallons per hour is moving, my timing is moving. I can't see that either. I'm using my hand to kind of shield the damn thing from light. Which ain't working out the best either. Coolant temp sensor's coming up. Intake air temp will start getting a little bit warmer as the coolant starts warming up. Mass airflow is changing. DTCs, obviously. My throttle position sensor is changing. My VE is changing based off of the mass airflow primary, which is the mass airflow sensor itself, divided by the mass airflow calculated, which again is the engine size, RPM, manifold pressure, air temperature, all calculated to figure out the density of the air versus how much the engine should be pulling. We're just kind of idle along here. You can see it's getting about 10 miles a gallon right now. You gotta stay on the road too, don't you know? Both hands. That ain't gonna work either. Gallons per hour, yeah, well one gallon per hour, yeah, that's about right. Get a car coming so we can stop here. The miles per gallon calculate, the MPGC, won't really be accurate until I get some gallons drawn and some miles drawn. I also know it's 1.45 around my block. And you can see the odometer is kicking up. It's got uh, 0.6 on it, 0.7 so far. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at a stop sign right now. I'm going to let the odometer steady out. 0.751. I'll see if it changes the reading next time. Okay, doesn't look like it's going to change. I'm going to roll ahead just a little bit. And it should change to like 0.752 or 753, depending on how far I roll. You know, 755 rolled a little farther than I thought I did. Well, actually, it's about, I rolled about 20 feet, so that would be about four thousandths of a mile. That's about right. So I really got to watch where I put my hand here. I'll punch it here for a sec. Let's see my numbers go all goofy and I'll get off it here. And apparently I didn't punch it hard enough, that's alright. I'm going to 
come back into my driveway here in a little bit. Like I say, I should reap 1.45 miles. I know that's how far it is. I measured it out with a pretty tight GPS, walked it really slowly and let it uh, let it crunch the data and figure out where it was. Just a little washboard there. Turn it back into the driveway here. Actually, it's going to read a little over 1.45. I'll see what it reads once I get in the garage. Crunching the numbers, foots off the gas, so MPG is probably going to be around 40 something or other. Pulling in the garage. Miles per gallon is going to drop off. Now 1.1199. Yeah. That's, got, that's right, because I didn't go all the way around, so that's going to be more righter than anything. Uh, now, the next video is going to show you what the tack does. Okay, for this part, I've got my tachometer plugged into the high, uh, PW, one of the PWM outputs of the pick through that 12F675, which is acting like nothing more than a voltage divider. And what I got is, on the dash, I have a 0 to 80 miles per gallon gauge tack turned into a zero to mighty 80 mile per gallon gauge and works like a champ 20 miles per gallon you know problem is it only updates as fast as the OBD will read which is it gets a full reading about every what three and a half maybe four seconds so yeah 60 miles a gallon my foot's off the gas I'm slowing down coming up to a stop sign I'm gonna go around the block here again Goose it a little bit, should drop way down. Yeah. And when I come up to this yield sign that's up ahead, I'm going to get off the gas and you'll see it'll peg out, it'll max out. Now I got a bunch of different modes to where the tack will actually read tack. Uh, it'll read uh, the MPG calculated there, it's maxed out at 80 miles per gallon, which is actually a lot more. If I come down a really long hill, I'll calculate about 300 miles a gallon, which is obviously not achievable, but that's what it is going downhill, foot off the gas, going to about 65, 70 mile an hour. Uh, yeah, I got other modes for the tack. It'll actually read miles per hour, miles per gallon. Actually read a tack. It'll be a temperature sensor, you know, maybe 80 is 160 degrees. You know, it's all doubled or scaled, just what it wants to be. Uh, It'll read the average, it'll read, uh, it'll act like a fuel gauge, maybe there's 80 gallons left in the tank, maybe there's 8 gallons left, it just depends on how I scale it, it doesn't matter. It's all in the programming. Now I just took my foot off the gas, it should max out. Bing! Come on, there it goes. 80 miles per gallon and it's going over to a stop sign, so the next reading should be about half that and then it should drop it back down to zero. Okay, next reading should be zero because I'm fully stopped, I got zero miles per gallon. There you go. By the way, I'm on a uh, remote country road out where I live, so uh, <laughs> I can just see some clown trying to do this in town, you know, in the middle of rush hour traffic, holding up a video camera and, you know, making his own little movies. Yeah, that's accident waiting to happen. But let him have it. As I'm tooling down the highway, I'll normally set this over to average, and I'll just watch what I'm getting, you know. If I'm going up a hill, obviously it'll drop way off. Uh, you know, just a visual indication of miles per gallon is enough to get people to save a lot of gas. Just keeping your foot up.